can be heard, for example, by its piano. Many complex structures and references can be found in the music. Structures and references which can't be noticed after first listening to it. Let me show you some of them. The first motif, EF, for example, is rather interesting. I guess you heard it already. Jörg, would you please play it? This motif can be found throughout the entire movement. Later, the motif 1D, DEF, is added. As you know, DEF is a diastonical fifth minor third and refers to a triad, which does not appear. Later, further motifs and themes appeared which originated from motif 1 and 1b. I will call them motifs 2, 2b and 3c. In a polyphonic stretto, all motifs are interlaced and add up to an expressive texture. Yeah. <laughs> motifs 2b and 3c. The instruction for the second movement reads Ardent au enthusiaste. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, hello. The complexity and transparency, uh, sorry, the complexity of the texture increases with the trombone. Sound repetitions are characteristic for its voice. This can be interpreted as the counterpoint of the counterpoint. In the piano voice, the motifs 1A, 1B, 2, 2B, and 3C reappear often unaltered and leads to an almost incomprehensible texture, whereas the trombone voice is content with distinct tone repetitions. The major six simple interval stresses that. The outcome of both instruments' interplay between complexity and transparency is a kind of music falling over himself. This is also how the caption Ardent Enthusiaste is meant to be understood. The next movement in Mutigem Glauben, in courageous faith, is kept in a rather neo-avant-gardistic tone, quite contrary to the movements Dans Long Beat and Ardent Enthusiast. This is perhaps why it has a German title. want to hear simulation, please raise your hands now.
simulation got the majority of votes. We are going to play simulation. Thank <laughs> you. 